Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, the deception is so thick right now, and that should not surprise us because Jesus said this is exactly what it would look like in the last days. So I wanted to share something with you today, um, something that Pope Francis just said, and I've done so many videos on Pope Francis before on the things that are com the words that are coming out of his mouth. I mean, folks, the things that he's saying, and he's got billions of people listening to him. The things that he is saying is leading many to hell. I just came across this uh, over at the Daily News. Now, there's many different sources reporting on this. Look at the title of this article, folks. Pope Francis tells trans youth that God loves us as we are, even if we are sinners. Let me read some of this to you. Pope Francis told a young transgender person that God loves us just as we are in a new podcast released Tuesday by the Vatican. Francis' comments were featured in the second episode of Vatican Media's Popecast, ahead of World Youth Day, a global event set to take place in Lisbon, Portugal, from August 1st to August 6th. The leader of the Catholic Church listened and commented on audio messages left by young Catholics sharing their personal stories. In one of the messages, a transgender person named Gianna spoke about the challenges of reconciling their gender identity with their Catholic faith. God loves us just as we are, the 86-year-old pontiff said in Italian, adding that even sinners are looked after by the Heavenly Father. The Lord always accompanies, accompanies us, always, even if we are sinners. He draws near to help us, he said, according to Vatican News, do not give up. Keep striving ahead. So you have Pope Francis, who again has a couple billion people that follow him, that listen to him, that tells this young uh, transgender person that God loves us just as we are and that we're all sinners. Well, that's true. God does love each and every one of us. But part of loving people is telling them the truth not telling them lies that can lead them straight to the pits of hell. You know what Pope Francis has been saying and what he just said to this young transgender person reminds me exactly of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1-4. to I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Uh, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all longsuffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And here you have Pope Francis, who again has a couple billion people that follow him and listen to him that are subscribed to him on all his, you know, social media accounts and whatnot, uh, telling, you know, again, a transgender person that God loves us just as we are. Come as you are. God loves you no matter what. We're all sinners. We all worship the same God. We're all God's children. But then you leave out the truth. In a world that's gone absolutely insane, you know, you're telling people what they want to hear again having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. We have to stand on the truth of the word of God, folks. Pope Francis and many, many others are leading people straight to hell. Come as you are. God loves us all. We're, our, we're all God's children. No, you need to tell them the truth, 
The truth is, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven unless you are born again. In John chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, when Nicodemus has the late night experience with Jesus, this is what we read. John chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with thee. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time and to his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. So we have the natural birth when we're all born into this world. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Two different births here, folks. You have a natural birth when we all come out of our mother's womb. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. You have to be born again. The spirit of God. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. But here you have Pope Francis and again, many, many, many others telling people, just come as you are. In your lifestyle, just come as you are. You know, God accepts you. We all worship the same God. It's all good. Just keep striving forward. Instead of telling them the truth, that we must be born again of the Spirit of God. I mean, there's thousands upon thousands of testimonies of people coming out of the uh, LGBTQ lifestyle, coming to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And these are amazing testimonies. I encourage you, if you're watching this video right now, and you have an amazing testimony like that, and I've seen tons of them, share it in the comment section below. We have to stand on the authority of the Word of God and preach the truth. We have to reprove, we have to rebuke. And I see Pope Francis coming out for years and saying junk, but then he just says this. The deception is so thick. We have to preach the truth. Because what Pope Francis and many, many, many others are doing, they are leading many straight to the pits of hell. No wonder Jesus said, broad is the gate that leadeth to destruction. Because again, you have so many out there that are just preaching nonsense. And here you have Pope Francis again that has a couple billion people that follow him and listen to him. And he's coming out and just saying, just come as you are. God loves you. God accepts you. Just keep striving forward. Hello. No, you need to tell people the truth. You need to tell people that, yes, we're all born of the flesh, but we have to be born again of the Spirit of God so that we can enter heaven. And if you're watching this video right now, and you have not been born again of the Spirit of God, if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you can be saved right now. You can be born again right now. This isn't about religion. You can come as you are right now to this channel. You can be born again of the Spirit of God right now. I want you to look around this world right now, to everything occurring, and I want you to look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast, just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. Again, I am telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this message. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. 
That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only name that can save you. In John chapter 14, verse 6, we read, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12, we read, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, we read, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So the Virgin Mary is not going to save you. Buddha is not going to save you. Allah is not going to save you. Muhammad is not going to save you. Pope Francis is not going to save you. Religion is not going to save you. The New Age movement is not going to save you. There is only one way to the kingdom of heaven and one name that can save you, and that is Jesus Christ in him alone. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. You can be born again right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.